Okay, can you please provide a description of the investment impact, including how the region's workforce will look significantly different in five years as a result of this project? For more than 80 years, South Central Kentucky Community and Technical College has had two major arms uh, for workforce training in the area. Our traditional academic program and four students graduate from high school have come into one of our industrial maintenance technology programs, electrical technology programs, etc., and then go directly into the workforce. The other arm that we've always had is our workforce solutions training division, which provides customized business and industry training to the employers that are in our 10 county service area. The SkyFame program, Federation for Advanced Manufacturing Education, marries those two programs together where we have employers actively engaged from the beginning and students who are both coming to school and working at the same time. The impact of this particular investment is to invest in ongoing equipment for the SkyFame program. We have an excellent start. The college has already invested over $100,000 in Perkins money to get the program up and running. And this investment will ensure that we can complete the program and provide world-class advanced manufacturing technicians for the employers in our 10 county service region. Okay, can you please describe how will the program effectively recruit individuals through direct contact with potential students and trainees? In order to answer that question, I think it's important to introduce some of our local industry partners. I'm Doris Moody, I'm Tom Berkeley with Frank Precision Industry. Beverly McManamy with Capstone Paper and Packaging. I'm Kelsey Richard, the Advanced Manufacturing Technician Success Coach for the students. The beauty of a FAME program throughout the Commonwealth is that it is not just a college going out and recruiting students. It is a true partnership where our area industry members of our Scott Bank chapter, as well as the students that you see here with us, all go out as one team to recruit. We're not only recruiting in the high schools and the area technology centers, we're recruiting amongst incumbent employees who are already with some of our employers, and we're hoping to get their children involved and interested in the program as well. Action. How would you complete the project if there were a partial award or no award of the state funds requested? And would an award of state funds accelerate the timetable to launch the program? SkyCTC, as mentioned before, has already invested more than $100,000 of its Perkins allocation to get this program up and running. Moreover, we also were very happy to be the recipient of a $50,000 industry partnership grant almost two years ago, which actually allowed us to assess the feasibility of whether or not this program would operate. Uh, at this point in time, if we were to get a partial award of this particular grant, then we would invest that in the Advanced Manufacturing Training Simulator, which is the most important piece of equipment uh, that we need for our capstone. SkyCTC will continue to invest in all of the utilities and um, all of the additional hookups. And it's important to note that uh, there are things that are in our grant application right now, such as hand tools, which are not allowed to be used uh, with Parkinson's allocations. Um, we know that uh, regardless of the outcome of this, um, we will continue to make sure that this program sees through to completion and produces the best world-class EMTs in this industry and this region at all. I'm the lead instructor for the SkyFame program. As far as costs associated with the, the peripheries on the installation, the installation, the actual hard assets that we're asking for to help accelerate their training program and broaden the depth of the training, is going to be supported by the students themselves in the SkyPing program. As part of the project management, installation of these various pieces of equipment is going to be the cornerstone of what we want to accomplish. The college has already agreed to any certifications, checks, and connections. They're going to pick up the tab for it. Okay, can you please address what agreements do you have with school districts other than your own, and what is the distance and mileage to the next nearest program of similar scope your students would need to travel to if program funding was not awarded. South Central Kentucky Community and Technical College is one of the 16 colleges in the Kentucky Community and Technical College system. is actually a leader in dual credit programming throughout the Commonwealth. We have agreements with more than 21 area high schools and area technology centers in our 10 county service area and have more than a thousand students that already participate in dual credit every year. 
We've continued to invest in dual credit by launching our DC to Finish Scholarship, which allows students who have already taken courses, Sky CTC courses, during their high school career to matriculate to Sky CTC at a reduced tuition cost through a presidential scholarship waiver. This has already led to a 22% matriculation rate between our area high schools and South Central Kentucky Community and Technical College. We know that that growth in dual credit is going to continue to be an asset to what we offer. We're currently working specifically with our area technology centers to ensure that any faculty member who might work at the ATC who is qualified to be a faculty member for us would be certified in such a way that we could offer dual credit there as well. It continues to grow and expand and we're very excited about that. In terms of the next closest program, two closest programs from our particular service area would be Hopkinsville Community College, which for some of our students would be more than a two hour drive, and Elizabethtown Community College, which again would be more than a two hour drive